All right, guys, here we are again, day number three at the 21 convention, London, the men's conference of the century. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so coming to the stage next is a very animated, fun guy. And uh, if nothing else, you'll love his hairstyle. Please welcome Sasha Daygame. All right. Thanks, dude. Cool. What's up? I know what you're all thinking, what the fuck? DJ Fuji, what? No, no. How you guys doing? You guys enjoying yourself? Everything's good? Happy? Yeah. Fun? Good? Uh, oh, how fucking awesome was Marcus? Yeah. Fucking awesome, right? Oh, like, basically, when I, when I found out there was, uh, there was extra time, I, I just basically was just like, Anthony, dude, trust me. Trust me. Look at me. Eye contact. Put Marcus on. He's awesome. And uh, yeah, fucking great. Hard to follow because he's so fucking good. I'm just like, yes. And uh, we act, we're actually very similar in what we do. Like we spend hours on Skype talking about shit, like all the funny windups we do and all the pranks and just fucking with people. And we could go on for like hours. I might bring you up in a bit just for fun, just to tell them some of the goofy shit we get up to. Um, but yeah, man, for us, it's all, always been about just uh, having fun, entertaining ourselves. It's like a, a really key thing. Um, and like me personally, I've been doing stand-up comedy my whole life. Uh, since I was like 18 years old, I, that's, that's it. I've never done anything else. I've never had a real job. I've just always been telling jokes. And, um, and that's kind of really permeated through, throughout my existence. And, uh, and I, just, I just love making people smile. That's just my thing. Like, I get up on stage and, you know, I'm trying to cut it down. Because, like, if I didn't cut it down, I would just be up here, like, doing jokes. And you go, ah, it's hilarious. And they'd be like, we didn't learn shit. We just, it was really funny. Um, but it's, and I found, I found that by, like, again, by entertaining myself and just really loving uh, making people smile and having fun, that has gotten me a lot of success because, again, as Marcus was saying, I really put my own amusement first. You know, when I, when I meet people, it's like I want to meet them and I want to, I want to have fun. I want to enjoy myself. I want to, you know, that's my whole life is about just making people smile. I love it. And throughout the years, I, you know, I brought other elements into that. So, like, you know, being really direct. Recently, I've been on this massive direct thing. So I like, you know, I like like flirting with girls and telling them they're hot and just being really honest and expressing myself. Uh, and I think I talk. And it's hard to really sell out what I'm going to talk about. I guess it's gonna be about having fun and self-expression and just being direct and just kind of going for what you want and not being like a pussy. You know, I think my favorite expression over the last month is, uh, why be a pussy when you can be a dick? <laughs> I think that's my favorite new expression. Um, so that's it really. Um, and I think, yeah, again, a lot of people go wrong because they, they take all this so seriously, you know, like, you know, they're coming up to girls and they're like, okay, um, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do the opener and then I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and build a thing up and then I'm gonna get attraction, I'm gonna do all this shit. And then you're so in your head worrying about like what's gonna happen and what you're gonna do and planning the shit up where you just, you just lose the plot and you freeze up and that's why you're, 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 your people are in their fucking heads. And I find when you're just out there actually enjoying yourself and having fun, that trumps everything. Like if you're just there and you are loving every moment, you're just having fun, you're, you're making people smile, you just you don't give a fuck. That destroys, oh, uh, what am I gonna say next? Or um, Body, oh, I gotta, I gotta keep my shoulders back, and I gotta I have good body. Like, no, man. Do you think, do you think, if you come to a girl and you're having a blast, and you're just immediately she likes you, and you're just having fun, and she picks up that you're having fun, and you don't give a shit about what she thinks or anyone else thinks, that is so much more attractive. That destroys everything else. That trumps your body language. That trumps, you know, the angle you're, you know, I'll come in like this from the side. I don't want her to know she, I like her. You know, it destroys everything else because you're just, you're living life and you're being in the moment. When you walk into a bar. Okay, you walk into like a bar or whatever, say, I mean, personally, I, I, you know, I don't like bars, clubs, but just a room with like a bunch of people. If you look in that room and you're like, okay, uh, fuck, right, there's some chicks over there. And uh, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll just don't look at that. We'll go stand over here for a while and then we'll be, and, and fuck, as soon as they see you, they're just like, yeah, okay. You know, they don't even, th just whatever, doesn't matter. You walk into a bar, you're talking with your friend, you're just joking around, you're having fun, you're just being a complete dick, you're messing with people. And you just, you don't care. You just walk in and you're in your own little world and you just, you don't care about what other people think. You're not caring about what people are looking at you or what people are thinking. That, that bubble of energy is just like, it will spread. And women and everyone in that room is gonna look at you and be like, these guys are just in their own bubble of fun. And when you're having that bubble of fun, everyone wants to be in that bubble. You know, you've all seen that. You're, you're, you're there somewhere and you just see a group of people. You could be on a bus. There's just a group of people and they're just having fun. They don't care. They don't care they're being loud. They don't care people are watching them. They don't care about any of that. They're just being dicks and being loud and having fun. And you're just there going, fuck, man. I wanna be, I wanna be like that. I wanna be in that group. So it's all about being that, creating that energy, being that. And you know what, if you're, if you're out there and you're like, you know, I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have a blast, I don't give a shit. 
that is going to get you so much success. You're going to meet so many interesting people. You know, you're going to meet other people who are on that energy level who just want to have fun. You're going to meet girls. You know, all the girls that I've, that I've met in my life, you know, that's what I'm attracted to. I love girls who are like, they'll laugh at my jokes and I can do stupid shit and I can just, you know, just have fun. Those are the most amazing people in my life. And by coming up to women or just people and being that way, immediately I'm meeting the people that I want to. Because if, if I just come up and just do some goofy stuff and girls are like, whatever, I'm just like, okay. There's, there's nothing for me to continue. But if I come in and I'm doing my thing and girls are like, ah, you're crazy. I can tell you're crazy. You know, they're just immediately vibing with me and they're joking around, they're having fun. Instantly I'm like, it's on. It's on, I like this girl, okay? I don't have to fake any stuff. I don't have to build any attraction. The chick, like, like, the, like I'll be telling the girl what I really feel. I'll be like, oh my God, because I'm being me, it's so easy to be like, you're fucking cool. You're laughing at my jokes. You know, you're, uh, you're just smiling. You're, you're, you've got a great energy. I fucking, you know, I love you. You're, you're so cool. And that's all true. I don't have to fake anything ever. I would never fake an emotion. I would never pretend to be anything I'm not because I'm looking, I'm just being the way I am, which is for me is just a little bit of a, you know, slightly crazy level of fun. And I'm, and I'm, I'm sucking in the people that I want to be around. I'm sucking in those people who, the, you know, the people that want to just do crazy shit and do st dumb stuff. And I'm going to share with you guys some of the stuff I get up to that's just, uh, that's just fun. That's just fun and, uh, and always, it's always about me. That's the thing. This is always about me. It's not about oppressing anyone. It's not about anyone else but you. It's all about you. Mm. This is the one area where you can just be selfish, man. It's all about you. <sighs> Whenever I talk to people, I fuck with them. Okay, and this is something that Marcus taught me, actually, initially. That's right. I told you I would plug you properly. Uh, so much of the stuff, like I've learned more from this guy than anybody. Um, and so it's preframes, right? If you come up to a girl, and I'm, oh, again, I'm always direct, so I just want to come to girls and be like, hey, you're fucking hot. Oh my God, I have to talk to you. You're amazing, you're whatever. But the problem is, if you come up to somebody out of nowhere, and again, I'm talking about just like, you know, coffee shops, walking down the street, whatever. People, you know, it might be too much for some women. They'll just be like, what? And they're just, they don't know how to, how to handle it. And so one of the advantages to not just having fun, but using preframes, you'll see, is it, it gives people a moment to take in what you're doing and just realize, okay, this guy's not crazy, cool. I'll give you an example. So, how do I have fun with this? I won't just come up to someone and just be like, hey, hey, you're hot. I'm gonna mess with people. All the time I'm gonna mess with people. So, for example, I come up to a girl who's just like smoking hot and I'll just be like, uh, hey, um, don't take this the wrong way. Right, builds up that anticipation. They're like, what? And I'll go, you look fucking amazing. Who are you? So I'm making them think I'm going to say something like, yeah, your ass is hanging out, or uh, you got a big booger, like whatever. They're thinking I'm building up to something really bad, like, hey, you know, don't take this the wrong way. They're like, what? And it just builds up that tension. And I'm like, you're, you're so fucking hot. I had to come talk. And they're like, oh, okay, fuck. Okay. Releases the tension, right? Having fun. I'm fucking with it because it's fun, okay? Do it all the time. It might be something as simple as just like, hey, I know this is a bit weird. Stare it a little bit. You look fucking hot. What's your name? We'll met, we mess with people like every opportunity we can. Like we'll walk into a shop and just be like, just walk up to the room and be like, hey dude, um, I'm not being racist or anything, but uh, can I get a bottle of water? And they're like, <laughs> they're like, what does that have to do with like nothing, bro? I just, you know what I'm saying? And, then, and people are laughing and we're just like, no, I just want to make you smile, dude. You're, you're here behind the counter, you're working all day, you know, people just give you the money and then they leave and just want to fuck with you. And we mess with people all the time and it just makes people's days. People are just happy and they, they're, they're smiling and it's, it's great. And, and I take that vibe and I, and I use it with women and it's just awesome. Like, I remember this one time I walked into a, into a McDonald's. I used to do this all the time. Walking to McDonald's and this girl, she's just there and like, they're just used to people just being really normal. Just, yeah, like, I'll have Big Mac. Okay, cool. I'll have some fries. Okay, cool. So I'll come to you like, hi, can I, get a, can I get a Whopper with cheese? And she's just like, what? I'm just like, yeah, I want a Whopper, you know, the flame rolled Whopper with the cheese. And the, I want that. That's going to be awesome. She's like, we don't have that. I'm like, you have that. I want a Whopper. She's like, we don't, we don't have that. We, this, is, this is McDonald's. You want Burger King? I'm like, look, I know what I want. I've seen the ads on television. I come in here for, don't, you can't spend millions on the ad and then not give me what I want. Give me the Whopper. I want it right now. Don't fuck with me. They're like, look, sir, it's McDonald's. You know, I'm like, let me talk to the manager right now. If you're not gonna give me what I want, I'm the customer. Give me the manager right now. Manager comes over, I'm arguing. And then after a while, I'll bring like, fine, if you're not gonna, 
I mean, all right, I accept you don't have Whoppers, but I'm the customer. I want to spend my money here. Go and get me a Whopper from there and bring it over here. Make me happy. They're like, no. I'm like, I'm the customer. Eventually, you know, sometimes you get, you get thrown up. But this one particular girl, <laughs> this one particular girl, at the end of it, I just came and just like, I'm totally messing with you. We're just, we're just, we're just having fun. She was like, oh my God, I, I can't believe it. And she just, she was so happy and she was like hugging, hugging me and shit. And she's like, my job is so fucking boring. This never happens. And I, we just made her day. Uh, and I was just messing with her because it was fun. But if that girl was my type, if that particular girl, that particular incident was hot, Jesus, it would just be like, you're, you're cool, you, you, love, you, you have to come out with us. You have to just come be stupid with us sometime, that's it. Um, and we do it all the time, man. All the time, stupid shit. I, uh, my, one of my favorite, favorite ones is uh, sandwich rental. Okay, walk into a shop, dead serious, just be like, hi. Yeah, yeah, just put a sandwich down, just be like, hi, uh, I wanna rent this sandwich. And be like, what? And be like, I don't wanna buy it. Like, I might be hungry later, but I'm, I'm not sure. So I want to like maybe rent it, and then like if I'm if I'll eat it, I'll come back and pay for it. But if not, I just want to have it with me just in case. And they're like, we can't do that. I'm like, listen, I want to rent the sandwich. <laughs> I'm the customer. You're you're this capitalism. Make me happy. I want to rent the sandwich. They're just like, no. Again, whatever. I'll just make a big ass scene at the end. I'll be like, you know what? Fine. If you're not gonna rent me a sandwich, I'll go eat somewhere else. I'll slam the sandwich down and I'll walk out of the shop. I do it because it's funny. You know, we've done, we've done all kinds, we, we, could, we can go on for, for, for ages. First time I met his mum, the original vodka prank, the first time I met Marcus's mum, I had the, vo the vodka with the water in it, and I came up to her and I'm just like, oh, hi, hi, how you doing? And, and I'm holding it in my hand, I was being really nervous, and I just went, she went to shake my hand, and I was like, oh, I, I, I get nervous uh, meeting new people, and I did it, and I, I drank the entire thing of water. <laughs> uh, look, 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 and just, and just uh, burped, and shook her hand, and she's just looking at me, and I'm just looking at, at her, and I went, it's just water, and she went, ah. <sighs> Marcus got me good once. Uh, we were at his house, and there's a, there's a, like I'm just, I'm in his room, and I hear the front door go, and I'm like, oh, what's going on? And he runs into, he runs into his room, and he's like, dude, this, this, there's a hot chick outside. Her car broke down. She's, she's really hot, and, uh, and you know, he's got a girlfriend. He's just like, yeah, yeah, you gotta meet her. I'm just like, oh, sick, awesome. Okay, so I come out, and I'm just like, and I just totally just be like, hi, how you doing? Like, well, what's going on? She's like, yeah, my car broke down. I'm like, yeah, yeah, we'll help you with that. But you're totally cute, though. I gotta tell you, like, you're so hot. Like, what's the story with you? What's going on? You know, maybe it's fate. You, me, it's a beautiful thing. You know. Right? I'm just totally fine, and it's going really well, right? I get her number, I'm just like, yeah, 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 we'll hang out, it'll be wicked. You know, I make her call my phone, I got her number, it's awesome. And so Marcus is like, all right, we're gonna help her get her car going, and we're like, yeah, opportunity to be a man. Yes, we're gonna, we're gonna push that car. So I come out, we come outside, and, uh, and we're there, and we're like, we're getting ready to like, do the thing where you push the car, and she's gonna do the thing with the key, and it's, you know, we're, we're taking our positions. And at one point, Marcus just looks at her and says, you're, you know, you look amazing. And I'm like, what? And, and he leans in and he just starts making out with his chick, just ah, 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 making out with her. And I, and I pause and I look at her and I'm looking at her. I'm like, first I think, you fucking dick. And I went, this is your girlfriend, isn't it? He goes, yeah. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <gasps> dick. Right? He fucking got me. It was so funny. Right? We're always doing that shit, man. Always doing that shit because it's, uh, it's just fun. So again, so, so pre-frames. Uh, yeah, anything you can think up, you know, uh, yeah, don't take this the wrong way. Um, listen, I, I've got nothing against homosexuals, but um, what's your name? I'd be like, what? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I've got nothing against heterosexuals. It doesn't matter. It doesn't even have to make sense. But just all the time messing with people. And it's all just about having fun and making myself smile. It's great. It's like, you know, when I flirt with women, right? I'm just having fun. That's it. I'm just having fun and, and it, cracking myself up. I'm going to teach you guys a couple of things that hopefully you can actually walk away from. Because I, you know, I talk a lot, we all talk too much. But I want you to actually walk away and be like, I'm gonna do that. And it, it, it's, it, if you get the mindset down of just like you're entertaining yourself and you're, and, you're, and you're flirting with girls and they're hot and you're telling them they're hot, it's like you'll never again be like, oh, I don't know what to say, because you're always gonna be like, I'm gonna go fuck with that chick. I'm gonna go fuck with that chick, it's gonna be funny. And in, in doing that, you're gonna meet them every time. It's like, it's just this, this mindset where you're just gonna go and have fun. And that's gonna get, that's gonna, you're gonna meet everyone you want to. So, so yeah, so pre-frames. Anything, just throw anything in before the, the compliment, just like any ridiculous ass shit, you know? Hey, uh, listen, I'm not saying we can't be boyfriend and girlfriend, but um, you've got an amazing ass. <laughs> Whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, those are wicked. Okay, so, so flirting, right? So I love flirting. Flirting is really, it's like the easiest thing in the world, and guys are like, I don't know how to flirt, I don't know what to say, and it's just like the easiest thing. First of all, be shameless, right? Like, if you're gonna flirt with a chick, be absolutely shameless, always. You know, guys have this mindset of just like, oh, what if, what if somebody sees him? I'm, I'm, I'm flirting or I'm trying to pick up this chick or I'm trying. Dude, you're a man, she's a woman, 
she's hot, there's nothing to be ashamed of. Be absolutely relentless in what you're doing. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a beautiful thing. Um, we, we, we're put on this planet to make sweet love and make baby. Come on, we're all here for one reason. Come on, you know what I'm saying? If it wasn't for making sweet love, we wouldn't be here. It's fine. What you're doing is natural and good. So when I come to girls, check this out, my, my mindset. I always assume that no matter what happens, girls are trying to pick me up all the time. If a girl looks at me, I'll just walk up and be like, hey, I saw you check me out just then. They'd be like, what? I'm like, saw you check me out. You looked at my ass. You were picturing me naked. I could tell that's what you were doing. It's totally fine. I'm, I'm a very sexy man. Totally fine. But you know, you can just come over and say, hi, I'm friendly. You don't have to like be molesting me with your eyes. Totally fine. What's your name? Okay. Even if a girl's never looked at me, a girl could be standing there looking that way. I'll come up behind her and tap her on the shoulder and be like, excuse me, hi. Yeah, I saw you check me out just then. She'll be like, what? I'm not even, I'm like, yeah, totally you did. It's fine, it's cool. I get this all the time, obviously, you know, but um, you can just say hi. What's going on? What's your name? It doesn't matter what they do. It, does, it doesn't make any difference. Any opportunity, like, I'll just assume girls are chatting me up. Um, again, one of our ones, uh, in a conversation, girl could be like, pass the ketchup. And I'll be like, is that a sexual innuendo? <laughs> They'll be like, no, I wanted ketchup. Oh, okay. I just thought you were, you know, totally fine if, if you are. I mean, I'm up for it. I'm just saying you could just be direct. You don't have to be like, pass the ketchup. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's totally fine. Right? It doesn't matter what they do. I'll just always be like, you're trying to pick me up right now. Do you always do this? How many, how many guys have you, I flip around on them. How many guys have you picked up today with your little flirty tactics? Just wondering. I'm not jealous. I'm just, just wondering. You know, always flip it on them. That's number one. Every girl's trying to pick me up. Great mindset. You do that, you, any interaction, you can just be like, whoa, are you hitting on me? Fine if you are, I'm just wondering. Beautiful, works, works really well. Okay, number two, this one's really fun, okay? Number two is this. It's denying that I'm flirting with a girl. Denying I'm flirting with a girl. This is very funny, and it just gets them smiling and, and chatting and laughing, and it's fucking awesome, okay? It's this simple. I used to do it this way. I used to run up to a girl on the street, stop her and just be like, hey, uh, don't panic. Buy another favorite of mine, don't panic. This is not a robbery. <laughs> Great pre-frame, they're a little bit scared, don't panic, it's not a robbery. Um, and uh, yeah, just so you know, uh, you know I'm, not, I'm not selling anything, just so, you know, just so we're clear, not selling anything. A lot of people on the street, they come to try and sell you stuff, not selling anything, just so you know. She's like, okay, cool, I'm like, cool. And uh, you know, I'm not, uh, I don't know, those are like scouts, you know, those recruit, recruiting guys and they try and get models and then you pay the money for the portfolio and then you don't get it. It's a scam. You don't get any work out of it. I'm not one of those guys, just, just so you know. They're like, yeah, yeah, that's cool. I'm like, cool. You know, I, uh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna hit on you. I didn't come over to, to, to hit on you or anything, like pick you up. There's guys out there on the streets that go around to hit on girls. I'm not doing that, just, just so you know. She's like, yeah, yeah, totally, totally fine. I'm like, cool. Not a police officer. You've done nothing illegal. You're not... Uh, you haven't broken any laws, just so you know. There's nothing, you've done nothing wrong whatsoever, just so we're clear. He goes, yeah, yeah, that's, 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 that's totally cool. That's fine. That's cool. I'll be honest with you, there's, there's probably like a 25% chance I, I'm hitting on you, but just like a 75% chance I'm, I'm not hitting you, just, just so you know. He goes, yeah, that's, that, that's fine. I'm not one of those artists, you know those artist guys, they try and take you and they try and, they try and they do the, the art and then they, they draw you and they try and sell you the thing. I'm not one of those guys, just so you know. They're, I'm not, not one of those guys. She's like, yeah, that's, that's fine that you're not, at this point they're smiling and laughing. I'm just like, just saying, I'm not, I'm not one of those dudes. She's like, cool. Yeah, I feel a little bit guilty because I might have misled you a bit. There's probably more like a 50% chance I'm, I'm hitting on you, but that's not, not any more than 50%. So we're clear. She's like, yeah, yeah that's, that's cool. Yeah, I'm not like a martial arts teacher. I'm going to try and like sign you up to my martial arts class. Yeah, maybe I got a martial arts academy. So, you know, it's nothing, nothing like that. I don't teach anything like that. I'm trying to sign you up. She's like, yeah, that's... That's totally fine. You know, I feel, I feel a little bit guilty because I might have just misled you a bit before. There's may, maybe more like a 75, maybe 75% 75 chance that I'm, all right, let's be honest, I'm, I'm hitting on you. I pretty much came over to, to hit on you. So hi, you're hot, what's your name? What's going on? Now, can you see how that can never go wrong? It can never go wrong because you're going over there to fuck with this girl and have a good time. She's either gonna think this guy's fun He's funny, he doesn't really care, he's just being a dick. Awesome, she's gonna step into your reality and just have a great time. Or they're just gonna be like, what? No, and they just completely won't get it. 
at all. And I'll be like, it's a joke, get it, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm hitting on you, but I'm denying it. They'll be like, what? And I'll be like, it's fine, don't worry. And I'll walk off. It has nothing to do with me, right? I'm in my own little bubble of fun. I only want to meet the people who are going to be in that bubble with me, okay? That's it. If you, if you don't want to join my little reality, I don't want you there. I don't need you there, okay? Another example, same thing, just shorter. I don't know why I did that long version. That was, was the denial opener. We were like, yeah, it's the denial opener. It's awesome. We never really told anybody, but it is fun. Um, another great one. Again, this is about being shameless, right? Shameless. If I go on a bus, I'm on a bus, and there's like some smoking. It could be empty. It could be like midnight. There's a smoking hot girl in the front of the bus. And you, who's been in this situation? Like there's one hot girl, but if you sit anywhere near her, she, you're, you know like she, she's going to think, oh, this guy's going to, do you know what I'm saying? And it's awkward, and you're like, oh. And then you just sit in the back, and you're staring at her going, fuck. <laughs> she's so hot. Damn it. I can't just, it's going to be weird. Okay. Okay, this is my mindset, totally shameless. I'll get on the bus, she's at the front, right? I'll get on, I'll walk to the back, walk up to the front, look around, you know, look at her a bit, look at the seat next to her, look around a bit more, look at the seat next to her, walk right up to her, and just go, hey, um, is this seat taken? And she'll be like, uh, uh, no. And I'm like, oh yeah, do, do you mind? And she'll you'll take her bag off and I'll, and I'll sit down right next to her, she's sitting there. And I'll be like, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking I, you know, I sat next to you to, to, to hit on you or something, but. That's not it at all. I just, I happen, I like this seat and, you, and you're having to be next to it, but that's, you know, it's just a coincidence. <laughs> and she'll be like, okay, yeah, yeah, that, that's fine. Just thinking like, what the fuck? She'll be like, yeah, it's fine. And I'll just look away just for a few seconds. I mean, not, you know, not, not that I wouldn't hit on you. I mean, you're, you're lovely. There's nothing wrong with you or anything. I'm just saying this, this time in particular, I think I'm going to hit on you, but you're, there's nothing, you're, you know, you're very, obviously you're very attractive and everything. She's like, yeah, yeah. See, I feel like I have to hit on you now to prove that I would. <laughs> So, hey, you're hot. What's your name? Where are you from? And I'll do like a cheesy pickup. I'll be like, I'm not very good at this, so, you know, what's your name? Uh, that one was influenced by, uh, that was Woody, Woody's version of the denial open. So, and it's just, I'm entertaining myself, man. I'm entertaining myself, and I'm going over there, and I know I'm offering a good time. I'm offering value. I'm not going over there like, hey, I'm going to go over there, and I'm going to bang this chick no matter what happens, man. I'm fucking awesome. I'm gonna no, I'm going over there because, like, this chick's hot. I'm going to talk to her. I'm going to have fun. I'm going to enjoy myself. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll, we'll hit it off. You know, there's nothing can go wrong. It's either going to, again, it's either going to go well or it's going to be funny. I mean, there's no, there, there's no, you can't lose. It's fucking great. So that's it. Ah, my flirting frames. Good times. <laughs> now, because I want it to be professional for you guys, because usually I just go up and I do like this massive rant and they're like, it's you're out of time. And I'm like, ah, well, I'm going to cover four basic points and I've written them down. And so this time I'm going to get through everything correctly. Right. I need water. Just a quick up shout out to everyone on the internet. Hi, you're in front of your computer on YouTube. Are you having a good YouTube experience? Thanks for tuning in. Just thought that would be nice because obviously it's all for the, for the guys here at the event. I don't want the people later watching this being like, These, it's like they don't know we exist. We know you exist. Next time, come to the event, you douchebags. <laughs> all right, good. So. Quick question. Oh, I'm just curious, right? Who has, um, who's sort of been like, you know, you know, trying to talk to girls, but you've been sort of doing like the indir like indirect stuff, like starting conversations and anything but coming up and be like, you're fucking smoking hot. God damn. Like if you're not doing that, put, don't be shy. Put your hands up if that's kind of what you're doing. Okay. Bunch of you. Okay. And who's, who's been doing stuff just coming to be like, you're delicious. You're, you're fucking hot. Yeah. A couple of guys. Oh yeah. A few. Okay. Same people as before. Okay. <laughs> just mix it. Mix it. <laughs> Hi, I like your shoes. I want to fuck you in the mouth. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, it's funny. So, with me, in the, in the recent years, like, basically my story is an interesting story because, like, I was friends with, uh, you know, a very well-known uh, pickup artist dude since the late 90s. And uh, so I, I was around, like, all the indirect stuff for such a long time. And uh, it never felt right for me, man. Like, from, like, 1998, I was aware of it, and I, you know, I did a bit, and I was like, eh. And then I went off to become a comic, and then I, you know, I read the book, the game, and then in 2007, I was like, you know what, man, I want to, I want to get better with shakes. So you know, even though like I'm, I'm a funny guy and I'm good looking, whatever, I have some advantages. I was shit with women, man. Oh fuck, like you know, like you're not looking at me right now, going, Rah, fuck you. Um, <laughs> you want me inside you? It's fine. So, <laughs> see, some of you laughed a little too hard there, which makes me nervous. That's all I'm saying. Uh, so I had, I had natural advantages, you know, I was doing stand-up and, and whatever, but like, I could never, I could never like pick a girl, I could never look at a girl and be like, that girl. 
is amazing. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna talk to her. I, I was just absolutely petrified of, of talking to girls. It was really brutal. Um, and the one fear that was like keeping me back was just like, you know, I'd be talking to girls, I'm like, what if, what if she finds, what if she finds out I wanna fuck her? You know what I mean? Like that would be the end of the world. What if she finds out I wanna have sexual intercourse with her? If she finds out I wanna put my cog in her vagina, it's all over. I might as well just jump off a building. And it was just, uh, it was brutal, man. It, it's just like, who's, who's just gone out and just had like half an hour interactions with women and just that lead absolutely nowhere because you just tear, you just don't want to be like, hey, I want to fuck you. Okay, great. It's brutal, man. It's brutal. And I was like, it was like really bad. I was super needy with, with chicks. Like every time I met a chick that I actually liked, I'd just be like, and they just like run away. I bought a stripper a car for like $38,000. Anyone do that one? No? Okay. Yeah, this guy's eyebrows just went, damn. <laughs> you guys are like, I, I, I blew 25 bucks for dinner on this chick. I didn't even get it. 38K. Cool. So we just, we just established that. Um, done a lot of stupid shit. And it all came from neediness, man. It all came from like, oh, I don't want, I don't want them to let them know the truth and just trying to get girls to like you. It's all fucking bullshit. It's so much easier. This is what I've been doing now for like for, for a while. So much easier to look at a woman and be like, hmm, God damn, like, if, fuck. I just look at her and think, what, what is it that I really fucking like? Like, first thing you notice, like, be honest with yourself. Don't censor yourself. That's what it all comes down to. I look at a girl now and I'm just like, God damn, look at her. I got a stomach fetish. I don't know, anyone like a stomach man? Stomach, anybody? One dude? All right, me, me, okay, it's me and you, brother. You two guys here. Uh, fuck all you ass men, man. Fuck you guys. It's all about that. So basically, like, if she has like a flat stomach, I'm just like, God damn, yes. You know, I like the petite girls and, and with the, just the, oh, oh man. So, so if I see that, I'm like, God damn. And recently I've been, I've been like looking at girls' asses. I'm starting to like ass and a little bit of leg, but I'm still like a, I'm still a stomach man, you know, but it's changing, my tastes are changing. But, but I know what I'm attracted to. And when I see a woman I'm attracted to, I'm just like, God damn. And I really focus on that and just like, mm, fuck, that's yummy. And I, and I immediately, I'm just like, right, I'm gonna go over there. And in, instantly, like zero second rule, like I see a girl, I'm just like, wow, okay, boom. I go straight over there and I tell her exactly what I'm thinking exactly what I'm thinking. I don't give a fuck what it is, how dirty it is, it doesn't make any difference, like anything. Usually, nine times out of 10, whatever I'm thinking is based on her looks. Because I'm a man, I've got a penis, and usually I'm thinking, holy fuck, she's hot. You know, I'm gonna tell her. You know, once in a while I'll be like, wow, you're, you're wearing a crazy dress, or you know, I like your hair, whatever the fuck, cool, yeah, if that's the first thing you thought, be honest. But generally, it's gonna be your looks. And if she's just absolutely stunning, if she's like the hottest girl in the world, I will walk up and be like, what are you, what are you doing? you be like, well, I'll just be like, you're, you're uh, just, whatever I'm thinking, I'll just be like, you are so fucking hot. You should be behind bars. There's no, you, how are you walking the streets dressed like this? Everything's hanging out. Guys are going to be fucking knifing each other, fighting over you. Guys are going to be fucking smashing their cars. What do you do? I have to, who the fuck are you? Right? I'm, I'm angry that she's this hot. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? This is wrong. I'm not supposed to see this in life. I have things to do. I'm supposed to be in the gym now and I'm meeting a friend and I'm here because you're fucking so hot. Right? And I'll, and I'll say that shit. And generally, this is what girls do. They go, huh. and then they want to talk to you. They're like, cool. Last girl, you know, they'll just be like, yeah, one girl like dragged me up. You're like, you're come. She's like, I, I got to come with me. And we just went off and spent like, you know, went up for like an hour. But, but guys aren't doing, like guys are just, they're tired of the fucking shit. They really are tired of, oh, so, uh, you know, like, yeah, do you, you shop here often? Cool. Or nice day, isn't it? Yeah, it's a really nice day. Okay, well, I'll see you later then. I just fuck, man. As soon as you're just like, right, I don't give a shit. I'm going to go up there. They're laughing because they know. I've, you know, I've got a couple of my girlfriends here. They know. They're fucking tired of the... All right? So just stop censoring yourselves and just be a fucking man. Again, who gives a shit? You're going over there. You want to express yourself. First thing I see, and if it's like great ass, I'll just be like, hey. And again, I'll throw in one of those preframes. So I'll make it a little bit, a little bit like uh, fun, but still fucking direct. So I'll just be like, hey, uh, don't take this the wrong way. You have a fucking amazing ass. And they're just like, ah, or just like you have a really sexy butt. Whatever the fuck it is. They, they, just, they just go, ah, yeah, yeah. you can actually see them sometimes just go, ah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that's not even that direct. Like really direct, like my, you know, my buddy Alan Roger Curry, he does direct. He'll, he'll, he'll just start saying shit like, I want to put my dick in your, you know, in your pussy. I'm just thinking, but just, he'll just like, he literally, within a minute, he's just like, I wanna, I'm just imagining my dick going in and out of your mouth. And chicks are like, what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> I've done a couple of drag, but just for me, it's generally just being like, you're fucking so hot, I love this about you. Uh, who the fuck are you? That's enough. But it's just like the, 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 what we're used to in life, you know, again, this has been touched on, 
But censoring ourselves, you know, we're born, when, when you're born, you're just having fun, you're not censoring yourself, you, you do whatever the fuck you want to. You know, you, you say what you want, you want to you piss, you want to shit, you want to eat, you want to cry, you just do it, you don't think about it, you're just, you're just living, right? And then when we get older, all these fucking layers of bullshit stack on you, like, I can't just have fun, I can't, have fun, or I can't just talk to people, I can't just, you know, all, all this stuff just fucking shit comes on, and you're like, well, I can't just come over and tell this girl I want to fuck her, or that she's super hot, or I just want to grab her, at, I can't, you know, you can't do it. Yeah, you fucking can do it. And nothing bad is gonna happen. She, you're either, she's either, if, if you meet the right type of girl at the right time, you're gonna get laid. You're just gonna get laid. That happens. Or you're gonna do a conversation, uh, you know, you get laid later, you go on a date, you'll meet, you, you make a friend, whatever the fuck's gonna happen. It's all gonna be good. Worst, worst scenario, ah, my God, they run away. Funny story, category. Yeah, I told this girl she had a great ass. She fucking, she tried to kick me in the knee and she ran off. It's funny, like the worst thing that happened to me, this was my story for years, the worst thing that ever happened to me. I was in uh, Covent Garden, part of London, and these, uh, these girls were walking by. And uh, one, the one in the middle, I liked her. She was hot. And these girls, were, and, I, and I tried to like, you know, chat them out. I was just like, hey, what's up, guy? And just, they just completely blamed me. They walked by. And the one in the middle, she had this, this little tight ass, and it was just jiggling. It was, you know, those ones that are just like, hello. They're talking to you, right? Just, oh, <laughs> it was just amazing. Just, hello, Taya, I'm over here. And she walked by, and I just yelled at her. I'm just like, I love your bum. And she just turns around, and she just goes, oh, my mom is dead, you asshole! <laughs> See, there's, there's no recovering from that. There's no recovering from that. But that's a funny story. And I tell that story and everybody's just and laughs. Like, a lot of people be like, oh, mortified. Who the fuck cares? It's funny. Um, and I think the only, since that story, the only bad thing that happened to me once is uh, I, was, I was teaching this event where I was like getting guys to go and be direct and, and tell girls they're hot. There's like 25 of us standing on a corner and this woman walks around, I just make a little joke, again, like just in the moment, just made a little joke like, hey, uh, it's one pound, you know, one pound to, to pass us. You know, we're in a gang. You know, just smiling, a little joke. She doesn't say anything, she just walks by. And, uh, and as she walks by, again, she, I, I thought, God, that look, body was smoking. I was just like, ooh, fuck, actually, I'll be right back, fellas. And I run over there, and I'm just like, hi, and all I, all I got out of my mouth was, hi, and she just went mental. You motherfucker, you think I'm a hooker? And she started, took her bag, she started hitting me with the bag and just kicking me and scratching me with a nail. And I, she's literally chasing me. And I'm like, I run around all these other guys and she's chasing him at 25 and she starts attacking every guy that's there. So this one chick's trying to beat up 25 dudes, right? Like a fucking nutcase. Obviously she had a bad day. And all I said was, hi. That was it. I said, hi, okay? Fucking hilarious, right? Like it's hilarious. Like I tell people, people are like, hey, what's the funniest thing that happened? There's chick attacked 25 dudes. It was awesome. Uh, so you'll, you'll find that the, the worst case scenario is going to be like a really funny story you tell your buddies later. Life is all about the, you know, the, the, the swings. You know, the, the great, you know, the good and the bad. It's just the, the, the shit that happens. It's all about that. So don't be, don't be afraid of, of the swings, man. They're all good. So, so yeah, and so like I find like one, so once I started doing that shit and just like seeing women just being like 100%, just like 100% authentic and like what I'm feeling then my, everything changed for me because I was going around enjoying myself and just being fun, but then being really, really, really honest with girls about what I wanted and just, just telling them. So, you know, you know I'll, I'll, I'll start fucking with her and I'll just stop and I'll just, I'll just bring in that sexual thing. So, you know, so I'll, you know, get into a conversation and then after being like, you're so fucking hot, whatever, you have to talk to women. I'll have a chat with them, whatever. And at some point I'll just, I'll just stop and I'll just look at them and just be like, we're gonna have so much fun together. You know, just, you know, and I don't, and just don't be afraid. Like if you, if you have that feeling, if you're talking to her and you're just like, God damn, tell her, man, tell her what you're feeling. Because it's, you know, don't, again, too many guys are worried about what, what women are thinking. It's like one of David X's rules, you know, um, look him up if you haven't. Don't worry about what she's thinking. Worry about what you're fucking thinking. Everyone's just, oh, they're up there in their heads. Oh, what if I say this way? Who gives a shit? You don't know what she wants. You have no fucking idea. You don't have a vagina. You're not her, okay? So worry about what you want, express it. Because if she wants that too, you're done. You're in there, that's it. Hey, I wanna fuck you. I wanna fuck you too. Cool, you know? I think you're fucking hot. Oh, you're kinda cute too, but whatever. Stop holding that shit back. Stop holding those emotions back. Once you let go, it's like a fucking flood. I got one of my students here, uh, his, his nickname, well, not really appropriate anymore, but super AA guy, okay? Had a massive uh, social, like just terrible social anxiety, like, just the, the just the, the thought of like talking to women. How would you describe it? Just debilitating, shitting himself. Pa he was paralyzed. He was like, paralyzed at the thought of like coming up and talking to girls. And uh, he he once he spent forty five minutes on our section se a second session just shitting in the McDonald's, just shitting. It was br brutal. Like I've never seen anything like it. 
Okay. Now, what were you doing last night? Yeah. Who's a cop? He was fucking a cop last night. Female cop, obviously. Otherwise, that would just be weird. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, such a day game. Woo! My solution: get dick. It's easier. <laughs> That'd be funny. No. And and now he's just he's just coming up to chicks, just being like, "You're fucking hot. What's going on?" Doesn't give a fuck anymore. Just express like how, like how do you feel? Just saying what the fuck you want to say, not giving a shit. You know, it's just, it's just, it's just, yeah, it's like the idea of coming up to a girl now who's smoking hot and just being like, hey, so, uh, yeah, my, uh, my friend's girlfriend's out of town and he gave me some money to buy her a gift. And, uh, yeah, just, we'd like to come over and talk to you and see, and just like any of that stuff. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me, dude? You're going to just bullshit, waste your time, be, a, and, and look, as soon as you talk to a girl, she knows you want to fuck her. Most girls that are hot, they know what's going on. And so when you're doing that bullshit, on, on, whether consciously or subconsciously, you're being a fucking pussy. And they're not attracted to pussies. They're attracted to dicks. Unless they're lesbians, different story. Um, that's what it comes down to, just fucking letting that shit out. And uh, yeah, it's nothing you can put, I don't know if you can put it across and like, make a little talk, but uh, it's changed my life so much. And it's just so much easier than memorizing shit and just, hey, you're fucking hot. It's fucking great. Um, right, I'm gonna pause it there. So any, anybody have, because uh, I need water. I don't have any questions. I'm a, I'm a fast talker and I kind of go blah, 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 blah. Somebody's got a question? Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. I have Not a question. Not this guy. Okay. <laughs> Shoot. No, man, I, I wanted to ask this because, and you don't talk about this a lot, you didn't talk about this in your speech, but you have a lot of experience in the community, and I think that's not to be overlooked. But what was your evolution of stuff? Because you mentioned it briefly, you didn't necessarily start out direct, you rolled with some big, pretty big players, some defining players. And you came into this, and I think that that's important because you have pretty much more experience. What was it, like 90? 98, yeah. 98? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah, so you have more experience than pretty much everybody in this room of being in the community. And what was your evolution of that? Okay. Yeah, it's a good question. Um, fuck. That's a long journey. Where to begin? All right, so yeah, so in the, in the old days... Um, Well, if I'm gonna tell the story, I might as well tell the fucking story. Uh, it was mystery, <laughs> like it was. I was, I was mystery's first wingman in like '98. So this was like I was doing stand up, and it was like before all this stuff was kind of written. So um, yeah. So again, it was all it was all about the magic back then. He was doing like all these magic tricks and shit, and I'd have like floods of women just walking around. And he'd be like, you know, doing all this fucking shit and moving straws out of people's drinks and all this kind of shit. Uh, good for getting attention. Um, and so for me. It just, I didn't want to learn magic. I was like, I'm not going to do that. I know a little bit from, from what he taught me that came later on. But um, yeah, I didn't like it. I didn't like clubs and I just all felt wrong. And the, the whole idea of having to go out to meet chicks, it struck me as wrong. Like, why would I have to go somewhere to a specific place in time to meet women and spend money? Like, it, does, it didn't make any sense. And for a long time, it, I just knew it wasn't working and I almost kind of dropped it. And I went off to do, to do stand-up comedy, which is, which is my passion. And years went on where I, I would, it, once in a while, I would approach a girl but it would always be, it would always be some kind of some kind of crap, you know. I'd find a reason to talk to them or whatever, and it would just it would just it would just go nowhere. Like once in a while, I'd get lucky, but it was just it was just crap. And I always had this feeling that it's just like I wasn't happy because I just didn't have it under control. And it's really frustrating because I, I like I was just such a pushy. Like I'd have girls in the bed with me in their underwear, and not pull the trigger. There's a pretty good hint. She's naked in the bed. I think it's a green light. Better not be. Better not take the chance. Let's just sleep and. Uh, <laughs> You know, maybe she'll jump on top of me. Like, what? Are you serious? Um, so that went on for years. And it was funny. So, so years went by and I was doing stand-up comedy. And then I ran into a guy called uh, Cajun, uh, who some of you might be familiar with, on a, on a bus in Canada. This was like 2006, I guess it would be. And we started talking because he was, he was talking to some girls on a bus and I was uh, as well. And we, we got off the bus and, and he's like, yeah, yeah, you know, I said this to these girls and, you know, we were just learning with them. And I'm just like, yeah, you know, here's a funny line and here's a pickup line, whatever. And we started talking about this stuff. And I actually just, was, I said, this is like years ago. And I said, oh, yeah, sometimes I do this little magic trick. So I showed him this, like, this cool trick that Mystery taught me. And he was just like, who taught you that? And I was like, this dude called, um, you know, Eric, he was, he was like a, you know, he was like a pickup dude and a, and a, and a magician. And he's like, are you talking about Mystery? Is he called Mystery? And I was just like, yeah, yeah, Mystery. And he's just like, are you fucking serious? He's famous now. Like, there's, there's a book, and he's, like, rich. And I was like, he's rich? Fuck, he still owes me some money. Awesome. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I could get paid. Uh, 
And so, you know, basically, uh, you know, I read the book, and then I got in touch with Mystery and, uh, you know, introduced Cajun to Mystery. And then he told me about this, um, this layer called the London Sedu Seduction Society that's uh, here in London. Uh, and Mystery's like, yeah, yeah, you should look it up. It's, you know, there, it's a big layer. I was like, okay, cool. And I looked it up, and I went, you know, and I joined it. And I was back in London. This was like 2007. And I joined it. There was all these guys who were just like dedicated, like going out and like it was mainly guys going to clubs, but going out and, and meeting chicks and who were really taking steps and like on improving themselves. And I was massively like, I was like, fuck, this is so cool. And again, I felt like, fuck, I've, I've known about this for such a long time and I still haven't gotten my shit together. And it's really frustrating because like I've known about this for like since 98. And there's guys out there like they're going out and hooking up with chicks. And I'm still like, I'm still shy and I'm still, I'm so crappy. And that's when I, I just snapped. I was like, fuck this. This is bullshit. I'm gonna do this. And I just started going out every day. I didn't really read anything. I just, I literally went out and just started going out and like hitting on girls all day long. Like 15, 16 hours a day with, with various people. We had was one of them. Um, and it was just became an obsession, it just became an obsession. And I did it so much, I just desensitized myself to like rejection or, or results. I didn't care. I just went out and I started, I started having fun. I just started developing the whole vibe of just having fun, not giving a fuck, enjoying myself. Um, but, and for the first while, I was still doing indirect stuff. And then one day, I was just like, well, I'm just going to, she's fucking I'm just going to go tell her she's hot. And instantly, it just made life so much easier. And it just started, it shit just started to happen. And I'd like, you know, hook up with one girl, another one, another one. It just became more and more. And uh, yeah, it just went on. Things got better. And eventually, I discovered like, you know, uh, like the direct masters, like David X, Alan Roger Curry, uh, Bad Boy. And that's when my mind was just like, fuck, dude, there's other people who are doing this shit. And I just started, and that's when I just started killing it. Just started just fucking grabbing, just doing whatever the fuck, just doing whatever I wanted, just saying whatever I wanted and just not giving a fuck. And, uh, and it's weird because it's like, it's, they almost kind of go counter to each other, being fun, which is my thing, and, and, and being direct. And Alan like yells at me. He's just like, man, you, when's the last time, you know, he'll say to women, he'll be like, okay, so last time you were fucking a guy, uh, and, and tell me the last time you were fucking a guy and you made a really funny joke. And she'll be like, never. And he'd be like, exactly. And it's almost like they're counter to each other but for me, I just find it, I just, it, I just merge them together. Just, I'm still being myself, I'm still being fun and flirting, but I'm just being like, I'm gonna fuck you. But I'm still gonna be fun about it. I'm not gonna be like, you know, a serious dude. I'm not a serious dude, I can never be that. But anyway, so yeah, I just continued growing. And then, um, yeah, and I'm just trying to get the message out. And then I, I put this massive event together called the Direct Dating Summit, which actually involved all those three guys I, uh, I just mentioned. And it was, it was just awesome. And it was just like, people walked out of there like shitting themselves. Um, yeah, and that's just my thing now. I just want to spread the whole thing of just like, don't be weird, be fun, be honest, uh, be direct. Yeah, and it's just, it's changed my life like massively, massively. So I guess that's the story. But uh, I, yeah, there's always like massive detail. I mean, just a, it's a big ass story, but that's basically it, yeah. Yeah, the thumbs up. Cool. <sighs> it's a big story. Cool. Uh, so yeah, any, uh, any questions just about the whole thing? Couple hands. Yes, sir. I like how I called you sir, like you're 80. You sir. Um, a lot of what you've mentioned on stage is a lot of um, approaching and pre-framing mm -hmm. stuff. What's your mid-game like? Mm. I wanted to talk about that. Also, I want to talk about dates, but just there's never enough time to say everything. Um, I find, like a lot of people will say, like go and have these, you know, long ass interactions. I've actually found if you're going to be like really quite direct and you just want to go in there and just be like, you're fucking hot, you and me have to hook up, you know. I find actually keeping it short is really good, like two, three, like really short, but you have to know a little bit about them. They have to know you're not like a freaky weirdo, you're not a psychopath. So you need to have a bit of a chat. So it's, like, it's all really about the, the energy you portray. It's not really about what you're talking about. Uh, you know, I find two minutes of just being totally normal, having a bit of banter, and where they can recognize like, oh, this guy's normal, this guy's not a psycho killer, that's enough. Uh, so I'll, I'll keep it short and I'll get the fuck out of there. Alternatively, best thing, I, I, I always go on instant dates if possible. Because in an instant date, I can really put across my personality. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So I can actually hang out and really get to know the girl. But I find standing there on the street for like ha half an hour, you know, you're, you're kind of going into the friend zone. So it's either keep it short or get her somewhere where you can really, you know, get to know her and all this kind of stuff. So yeah, I do the same thing as anyone. Like sh to put it short, just get to know her. Like what is her passion? What the fuck is she doing in life? Is she, does she like her job? If she doesn't like it, what does she really like doing? You know, how does she end up on, on the shops? I'm, tr I'm, tr I'm trying to find out everything I can. And my general rule is like, if I walk away from a chick, I should be able to tell you five amazing, like interesting things about her, five. If you can't actually say like, yeah, she's from here, she loves this, she hates this, this is her favorite book. You know, um, she loves her parents, she hates her brother, whatever it is, you should be able to walk away and say a bunch of th stuff because if you, if you can't, there's no, you don't know shit about her. So when you call her, she's just gonna be like, what the fuck? But then if you're being super, super direct and you're just like, I wanna fuck the crap out of you, 
She doesn't have to know anything about you because if she knows you're offering dick and she wants dick, that's it. That's all it is. So there's different levels. There's like the super, I'm gonna fuck the shit out of you. Or there's just like a, hey, you know, you get to know her a bit and there's, there's something there and you meet up. But yeah. But yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a big question. Over here it was a dude with his hand uh, a second ago. Yeah. Yeah, that was this question. Oh, that was the same question? Yeah, yeah exactly. Nice. Um, let me cover, yeah, any, 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 anything else? Okay. Yeah. Uh, you said you were gonna, you wanted to talk about uh, dates and stuff. So I just wondered if you could give yeah, us a quick. Yeah, that's 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 one thing. Like a lot of guys um, just aren't sure what to do uh, on a on a date. So there's one thing. When I'm talking to a girl, don't just do the like the, the number one thing that people do is they'll just be like yeah yeah. They'll just get a girl's number. And they're like yeah yeah. We'll hang out. It's just really fucking weak. Um, try and make uh, actual plans. So I'll find out like, what do they do for fun? What do they like doing? And I'll actually make actual plans for like something that's actually different and, and weird. And like, I'll actually say like, I'm not gonna go take you for dinner. That's boring. We're gonna do some crazy shit. You know, and I'll, and I'll go and uh, you know, like a funky picnic or I'll bring like a Frisbee and we'll play Frisbee or just like anything that's out of the, like how many guys are taking chicks and be like, yeah, let's go. You know, we're gonna go rock climbing instantly or we're gonna go do some crazy shit. I'll always make actual plans that are fucking fun. So chicks are like, what, we're actually gonna do that? I'm like, we're gonna do that. We're not gonna, you know, we're not gonna sit there and it's like, like, or like watch a fucking movie where you can't even talk, it's crap. So make actual plans right there on the spot and I'll be like, right, so I'm gonna meet you tomorrow right there by that tree. They're like, yeah, for sure, tomorrow, right there. They're like, yep, yeah, cool. Let's exchange numbers, women are always late. Exchange numbers. So, so making plans and so, so on the date, fucking like ha have a blast. Like, first of all, I might, Quickly, like go for a coffee, half an hour, have a talk, so I know that we're on the same level. You know, we're not. It's not just you know, like you know, get to know him a little bit, and then go do go do some fun shit, man. Just fucking have a blast. Um, putting the effort in, you know, like I know the community's like, yeah, you know, just like you don't want to buy her stuff, and you just gotta try and fuck her. Is 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 no, don't try and fuck her right away. Jesus Christ, so many girls I've lost because I tried to fu fuck them right away. Just like enjoy hanging out with somebody and actually getting to know them a bit. Then fuck them later. It's it's beautiful. Unless unless literally that's all you want. It's all about going for what you want. If you meet a chick and she's cool and you're enjoying her company and you think this girl's awesome, I want to have her in my life. Why would you try and fuck her like immediately? What do you do? Like why? But if you meet a girl and just like I just want to fuck you and she's like yeah I just want to get laid. Okay cool. Come over to my house then. There's no need to, to have a date. But if you actually like someone, fucking relax, man. So many guys make that mistake of like they get all you know oh yeah I'm gonna pick up I'm gonna I'm gonna you know I'm gonna escalate I'm gonna fucking and they'll make out with this chick and they'll get all they're like they're grabbing her titties and they're fucking making out with her. And this is an awesome person. She loves me, man. She was all over me. She was grabbing my ass. She was grabbing my cock. If you didn't fuck her, you're never gonna see her again ever. Who's had that one before? Awesome date. You're making out and stuff. You're like yeah, yeah it's great. They'll never see you again. They'll never see you again. Why? Why do you think? They feel like a slut. There's an expectation that they're gonna fuck you now. You know, they just feel like a dirty ass hoe. You know, yeah, sure, they got carried away in the moment, and that's good. Go for it. Pull the trigger when you know you're gonna have sex with her. Sure, have sex with her. You know, because then she's gonna she's gonna pick up the phone. She fucked you. She, she doesn't want to be a host, so she's gonna see you again. But don't put girls in that position. If you have an awesome date and you're like, this chick's so cool, she's amazing, she's great, I want to have her around in my life. You know what you do? You grab her at the end. You be like, this was awesome. Pull her in. You know, just give her a kiss on the forehead or grab her face, kiss her on the mouth. Don't do the, you know, the 50s kiss, right? You know, they, when they just go, mm, just hold that. And uh, like you watch those movies, like, what the fuck? They're not even making out. This is gay. What kind, of, what kind of shit is this? Do that because it's not, there's no like, it's not dirty. It's just like, because you're showing you're not a pussy because you're grabbing her and you're kissing her, but you're not getting all like, uh, uh, you're not doing all that shit. So she's just going to be like, oh man, he's not a pussy. He kissed me, but it, he, he wasn't doing the whole slimy shit. The next time you see her, you're going to fuck the crap out of her. So what's the problem? But guys just get, they got this idea of just like, yeah, you gotta fuck him, you gotta fuck him. Just chill out, man, enjoy, enjoy like, you're like a little fucking horny rabbit. Just, oh, oh, gotta fuck, oh, oh, fill every hole, must fill holes. <laughs> just fucking Jesus Christ. Just relax, enjoy yourself, you know? Um, and, and, and again, it comes down to just like, I'm really honest about, about what I want. So if I meet a chick, look, if I have to lie to get pussy, I, I don't want the pussy. I, do, I just don't want it, you know? Because why, why would you lie to a chick or, or like try and fuck a chick with a boyfriend? There's another girl behind you who's just as hot, who's fun, who wants to get laid, who doesn't have a boyfriend. So why are you gonna fuck with this girl who's got a boyfriend? Why would you lie to this girl in some way? Like, all the, like you know, I've got a couple of wonderful girls here. And, you know, like uh, one of them, the Lithuanian, I'll call her, no names. Uh, we were, you know, we were, she, we were hooking up a lot recently. And, uh, and I, you know, basically we decided, look, we're gonna be friends. And, uh, and you know, we, hooked, we met a couple weeks ago and we had coffee. And she said, she said cool, you know, I'm, I'm cool to be friends with you now. We can hang out, we can be friends, and I'm not angry. And I said, okay, that's good. And why, and it was pretty quick, like a few weeks after we were hooking up, she was like, yeah, it's cool, we can be friends now. And I said, why, why so fast? And she said, it's because you were honest with me about everything. 
you're always honest about your lifestyle and that there's other girls, all this kind of stuff. So because you never lied to me, there's no reason for me to be angry with you. And that's why we can be friends now and, and it's cool. And she's such a cool chick and I, it, I would be broken hearted if we weren't friends. Oh, uh, you know what I'm saying? So, so I'm, always, I'm always that way. I, it's like, you know, there's nothing to hide about what, you, about what you're doing. Just do what you want to do and just be honest about it. And you're going to find other people who share, like they, they, they want what you want and you can just have a fucking blast and enjoy yourself and have lots of sex. <laughs> Woo! Oh, come on, if you don't get, make noise for lots of sex, what do you make? Lots of sex! Right. I, have no, I haven't gotten a sign, so I think we're okay. Uh, any other questions? I like answering questions, it's fun. It's all about you guys. Not you people on the internet. It's not about you. It's about these guys right here. Come on, let's all, let's all make fun of the people on the internet. They didn't come out. Come on, let's make fun. Everybody, everybody turn around and flip off the people. Go ahead, everyone right now. Get up right now and go, everyone, everyone get up right now. No, every, no I'm serious, right now on three, one, two, everybody get up, walk to the middle, walk to the middle and go, ah, you missed the 21 convention. We're all gonna do it together, ready? On three, one, two, three, ah, you weren't here, dick. Hey, first time for everything, right? <laughs> People at home are like, this is bullshit, man. Fuck, I had to go, I listened to an ad to watch this fucking video and now they're telling me to fuck off, this is bullshit. Really, I'm not going to top that, so. Yeah, that's it. They're just, yeah, I'm not going to top that, so. Uh, that's it, really. Um, what can I say? Yeah, it's, it's been great. This is my first time speaking this thing. It's, it's great. All the speakers are fucking great. So, uh, yeah, thanks for coming. And I'm Sasha Daygame, and you can find me if you look for me on the internet. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your event. And that's it. Peace. <laughs>